last week, these photos and videos were illegally taken from the online dating site Liking Me by a hacker known as Chilea. Apparently, the hacker has been blackmailing the owners of personal information for large amounts of money. Hey, Lee, how are you? Oh my god, did you hear what happened? What happened? They hacked Liking Me and like the whole information about all these celebrities is online. Did they post anything of your clients or? No, 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 no. Thank God I never gave them access to my corporate phone. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, I feel so responsible. I, I tried to convince you to go on the website in the first place. Oh, don't apologize. I mean, it's not your fault. I signed up, it like, was my choice. It's just that we need to be more careful and not be so anal about this. <laughs> I didn't say you were anal, just like you were a little bit judgmental about my online behavior, that's all. You know, I said we shouldn't be so anal about it. No, I already found my perfect match on Liking Me. And guess who that is? <laughs> In my personal life, um, I've had a very recent conflict with uh, privacy. Uh, two weeks ago, I bought a smartphone and I exchanged my very old Nokia for the smartphone. So this is my first experience with a smartphone. And I discovered that many of the apps that I wanted to use uh, required my personal information. So in exchange for my personal information, I can use these apps, I can use these services, but without it, the smartphone is pretty much useless. Still is difficult. But I'm aware in using different passwords, different browsers for several different activities. So I try to keep things separated as much as possible. Well, for me personally, it's still hard to deal with uh, these issues. And it's uh, always hard to find a way to make sure that you're not going to be a victim of a cyber crime. And for instance, if you type something into Google, you know that they will register it somewhere. So what I try to do is um, make sure that I'm not locked into Google at the moment I'm using it. Besides being a security expert, I'm also a human being, which also means that to a certain extent, I also need to have communications with other humans. And some amount of that communication with humans happens digitally. <laughs> so even, you know, people who know better about the risks and who spend their entire days, <laughs> you know, thinking about security and privacy on a professional basis still have to make difficult decisions. You know, and at the end of the day, if it's this difficult uh, for a trained security professional to be able to make the right trade-offs all of the time, <laughs> how can we expect normal people to get it right? <laughs>